Welcome back to Pure Hockey on Campus. Bernie Corbett, Paul McNamara, and uh, our USHL spotlight tonight falls on Mark Carlson. Mark is the head coach and general manager of the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders, the only coach and GM in the history of the Rough Riders, uh, played his college hockey and hockey east at UMass Lowell, also had experience as a college assistant and recruiter for UMass Lowell and Northeastern uh, before heading back to the USHL where uh, he has uh, really uh, put his indelible stamp on Cedar Rapids, synonymous with the Cedar Rapids program. Team currently in second place and battling last year's the defending champions overall, the Green Bay Gamblers, and want to welcome Mark to the program. Uh, hi, thanks for having me on. Great to have you on, Mark. I'm, I'm old enough to remember when you were playing in Hockey East. That's what happens when you're a grizzled veteran such as myself and uh, also from uh, the assistant coaching ranks. And you really uh, settled back in and, uh, as I mentioned here, put your identity on the uh, Cedar Rapids programs and program and sent uh, a great number of guys on to the collegiate ranks. And uh, currently on your team, you've got uh, several, including one of the top offensive performers in the league, Jason Magna. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Bernie. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, my, my time out here in Cedar Rapids, and I'm enjoying the team this year. And, and Jason Megna is off to a, a real good start here for us as our captain this year. And, and coach, uh, it seems like you're also on a roll at home. Uh, you like playing in your own barn. Uh, just one loss, and and you've won four straight, and uh, you got six out of your next eight at home to close out the the calendar year. Uh, the kids must like playing in front of the hometown fans, obviously. Well, it's uh, it's gone well for us so far, and, and we certainly understand that we have to continue to get better and and improve as we go. But our our fans have been great, and we've done an awful lot over the last year or so in our arena here in Cedar Rapids, and we think we've got a a, a real nice environment in there, and, and our fans are are, re- are real into it, and we certainly have to thank them for their support. And talk about uh, a little bit about the Cedar Rapids and Waterloo rivalry. Uh, you just got through a, a home and home with them over the weekend, and true to form, they were both overtime. Uh, one was an overtime game, the other was a shootout. But it seems like when you guys get together, there's there's very little to choose between the two clubs. Well, they're they're great games, Bernie. Uh, you know the, the proximity is uh, is there for us. They're about uh, you know 45 miles down down 380 here and, and both of our communities really get into it so it's uh very competitive games both cities really get into it and over the years there's been many years where we've played on, uh, on back-to-back nights there one of the games usually evolving involving thanksgiving day which has always been in waterloo and uh, so it's a great experience for the kids and it's a great experience for our fans as well like many teams in the ushl you've got uh, a, a great uh, mix of of styles and uh, talent and background always seems to be a, a name or two, a son of, in your case, uh, Wayne Wilson, good friend of our program from RIT. You have his son, Stu, and uh, to give a little international flavor, you have a Norwegian native on the team. Uh, we do. We, we, we do. Uh, uh, Stu Wilson has been great for us uh, last year, and, and then this year he's back for his his second year, and you can certainly tell that he's a, a coach's son. He he has a great understanding of the game, and he's very, very reliable. He's one of our captains this year. He's been very good on the penalty kill, and, and his best days are, are ahead as he continues to get stronger and quicker. And uh, Rasmus Jewell from Norway has been with us here. This is his first year, and, and he's off to a pretty good start. He's a, he's a strong kid. He's, he's got great skating ability. Uh, he also has done a real nice job on the penalty kill for us. Hey, also, uh, looking at... Uh what your players have done, not just at the college level, but the fact that you have six former players, six uh, former Cedar Rapids players in the NHL, and uh, that's got to be uh, just a, a tremendous plus and uh, a, a tremendous uh, when you were recruiting players to play for your program that you can point to uh, that level of success in the NHL. That's outstanding. Well, thank you, Bernie, and it, it certainly does help our recruiting. And we actually hit seven players uh Ah. This season here, Tommy okay. Wingles uh, oh, I was remember with him. for a year San from Miami. Chicago area and went yep. on and played at Miami. Sure. And has played a couple games with San Jose this year as a rookie. Uh, so that's been that's been real nice. And in addition to that, I, I think when you look across the league, uh, the league has continued to, to produce NHL players over the years. And 
I was watching the San Jose Sharks uh, Detroit Red Wings game last night, and uh, there were six players in that game uh, that came through the the USHL on on their way to the National Hockey League, and uh, that that was uh, that was great to see last night. And I think that's an indication of where our league is right now. Well, you've seen the league from a number of uh, of uh, different angles, and you got to sit back, I'm sure, and, and occasionally be in a reflective. Coaches aren't generally in too many reflective boats, but moods. But in your case, Mark, the fact that uh, you've uh, put your stamp on this program in Cedar Rapids for a dozen years and recruited out of the league prior to that, uh, just uh, it's just been an exponential growth. And uh, and in terms of quantity and quality for this league, it's it's something you got to have. I'm, I'm sure that you really share the pride in. Well, I, I really do. I, I feel fortunate to be a part of this league, and you know, I, I truly believe that it's the best developmental junior league in the world. When, when you compare the uh, you know the opportunity to to move on to college hockey and, and have the opportunity to go on and to get a degree, and then you look at the fact uh, that the players that are drafted directly from our league, or they're drafted when they get into their freshman year in school. Uh, you know, when, when you compare it worldwide and, and you have a chance to get that degree when you go to school, uh, for me, there's not a, a better developmental junior hockey league in, in the world, and uh, I'm certainly proud to be a part of it. Well, you're nearing 400 wins. You and uh, Kevin Hartzell are battling back and forth and uh, with 377 and counting. Uh, great uh, testament to uh, both you and Kevin, a couple of veterans of the league, that you'll be in a very uh, select company with 400 wins. Uh, could very well be there by the end of the season. and. We wish you success, Mark, and uh, look forward to uh, catching up with you and the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders again this season. Well, I, I appreciate being on. It was great to talk with you again, Bernie. Thanks very much, Mark. Okay, thank you. Mark Carlson, the head coach and general manager, the only one in the history of the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders, our guest here in our USHL Spotlight on Pure Hockey on Campus. We'll be back 